guys, what's up? It's Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. This time it is going to be on Men. A24's last horror movie was X. Now we got another one called Men. X. Men. I don't think that's a coincidence at all. I think maybe A24 did that on purpose. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe maybe it was just for a good laugh. But that's what the title of this movie is. And hey, the titles for the movies aren't misleading at all. So who knows? Maybe it was just a coincidence. But anyways, uh, this movie is directed by Alex Garland, who is the director of both Ex Machina and Annihilation. Two phenomenal sci-fi movies that I think are definitely worth checking out. Though he has moved away from the sci-fi genre this time and is going on flat-out horror this time. And Annihilation had horror elements, but this one is straight-up horror. In this movie, we follow a woman named Harper. And um, she is going through a lot when her ex-husband dies either from killing himself or was trying to climb off... Uh, it, it, that that's you know what that's just gonna be a spoiler so but she moves into this big house with uh, this one man and a bunch of other men that show up out of nowhere and uh, hence why the title is called men as some weird stuff goes on uh, much later on in the movie with the men and um, let me just start off by saying this movie is going to do tons of different things to the audience it's probably going to confuse them it's probably going to piss them off it's probably going to make them go WTF it's probably going to make them not want to eat for a really long time it's gonna make them like I could just go on because this is a very unsettling movie I mean, the first half of the movie is sort of a slow burn. I mean, it's not much of a slow burn as some of their other movies. The movie is an hour and 40 minutes long, but the first half sort of gives you an idea of what to expect much later on during the movie. And um, the movie does have a couple of scenes that do drag a bit. And this movie is just going to mess with your mind a lot. It's going to, like, put so much stuff in your head that is going to be, like, puzzle pieces. And when it gets to the very last act, it has more puzzle pieces that is just going to be so hard to put together, even after the credits roll. Because, I mean, hey, the movie just has one plot line, okay? And there are times in the movie where it cuts from uh, Harper experiencing what's going on in her home. Like, uh, there's, of course... One of the guys is completely naked and doesn't speak and, and just completely stalks her throughout. And uh, we cut away to how her and her ex-husband got into a fight and how they are going to get a divorce. Well, Harper is the one that wants the divorce the most. And the relationship together, it just... Uh, but yeah, that's a big plot line to the movie. And it has you think if it's going to go anywhere towards the end because like I said her ex-husband dies and yeah but if I go any further it's just going to get into spoiler territory and this is a movie that is very hard to spoil and this is an A24 horror movie these are the types of horror films that are honestly very hard to spoil because anything could happen in these movies like anything at all and um well, I do admit it is a very puzzling movie, and um, I didn't fully get everything that just happened towards the end, but maybe that's just me, because I feel like Alex Garland has something going for this movie. I feel like he made this movie for a really good reason. But like I said, this is going to piss off a lot of viewers, okay? They are not going to get the movie. I feel like they, throughout the movie, they are just going to get disturbed for various reasons. And they were just there just to get disturbed and not having a lot of answers of what's going on. Like, oh my god, okay. Like, for instance, okay. If you thought the ending to Mother was disturbing and absolutely confusing and made no sense whatsoever. Until, of course, you do some research, then... 
this movie just blew that movie's ending out of the water because holy shit the ending the last 15 minutes i just couldn't eat any more popcorn when it got to It, it, it didn't, it didn't, I mean, yes, it was disturbing, but it just, <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know how to put it into words, because like I said before, it's really hard to spoil, but that is my cat scratching the side of her head. But either way, it I'm split on it. I am very split on it, okay? And um, that's, that's kind of an intended pun, why I'm split on it. Because if you watch the movie, then you know exactly what I mean. But in the end, guys, men, I, despite it being very confusing and being very flawed at the same time, with a couple of scenes that I felt dragged on a little too long, and a lot of puzzling moments that, uh, and an ending that just had you going, that just left me going, like, what just happened? There's still a lot I really enjoyed about this movie, okay? I kind of like movies like this, where, um, it gives you, like, it confuses you, it messes with your mind, but I felt, I, I feel like with multiple viewings, it does get better, because I rewatched Mother, and I felt like it was a bit more easier to understand during that second viewing, and I feel like it's going to do the same thing with this film as well. And plus, phenomenal performances all around, and it's a very nice looking movie, and the score too, and the way the movie plays out, and it's a very well shot and well directed movie that doesn't add any side stories, because that's another thing about these movies. They go for one single thing. They're focusing on one specific plot line and nothing else, okay? And that's what I truly appreciate about this movie. It's definitely Alex Garland's uh, weakest film, but hey, I still had a really good time with this movie, and it's not going to be for everyone. People are going to hate it. Some people are going to think it's one of the greatest horror movies in recent memory. I, for one, think it's a really solid horror film. It's definitely not A24's best horror film, but it's definitely a very solid one. I am very serious when I say that the ending is going to confuse a lot of people, and it's probably probably going to make people throw up. I'm not even joking, because I don't really throw up when I watch specific movie scenes. I mean, there are times where I feel like I should, but if I'm, I, I, I can't go any further because... But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be seeing the new uh, Downton Abbey movie. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have, I won't have much to say about that one because I didn't really have much to say about the first movie. But I will still see it and review it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.